Good morning and welcome to Monday's Bite Size Bible. Today we're in Psalm 58 and then we'll pray. Psalm 58, starting at verse 1. Do you rulers indeed speak justly? Do you judge people with equity? No, in your heart you devise injustice and your hands mete out violence on the earth. Even from birth the wicked go astray. From the womb they are wayward, spreading lies. Their venom is like the venom of a snake, like that of a cobra that has stopped its ears, that will not heed the tune of the charmer, however skilful the chanter may be. Break the teeth in their mouths, O God. Lord, tear out the fangs of those lions. Let them vanish like water that flows away. When they draw the bow, let their arrows fall short. May they be like a slug that melts away as it moves along, like a stillborn child that never sees the sun. Before your pots can feel the heat of the thorns, whether they be green or dry, the wicked will be swept away. The righteous will be glad when they are avenged, when they dip their feet in the blood of the wicked. Then people will say, Surely the righteous still are rewarded. Surely there is a God who judges the earth. Some sobering words for us this morning. It's a wonderful truth that God is just and he does care about evil and wrongdoing and he will not let any of it go away and yet we know that that is a terrible thing for us uh, who are sinners who need God's mercy. Uh, We're going to pray the prayer of a condemned criminal by Richard Doddridge, Philip Doddridge. Let's pray. I am reduced to a horrible condition. I have sinned. And what can I say to you, God? I was a fool to amuse myself with petty excuses and to imagine they would carry any weight in your presence. Now I am silent. My hopes are dead. I am almost ready to wish that my immortal soul could die too. I am a criminal in the hands of justice, disarmed, stripped of the weapons I once trusted. Now I can expect nothing other than condemnation from you. I know you have recorded it in your word, that your intention was gracious, that you want to alarm us, not destroy us. Speak to me, God. I know it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And in one sense I have already fallen into your hands. So whatever your sentence is, I must condemn myself and justify you. And thank you for your mercy because of Jesus. Amen. And let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen.